Today, we're going to do pregnancy exercises and stretches to help you prepare for an easier and a shorter labor. Research shows that women who do exercises similar to the one that we're going to do today at least three times per week had a shorter labor time. We will warm up, do aerobic exercises, as well as stretches and exercises to help get your baby into the optimal fetal position and prepare your body for birth. I may look like I'm pregnant, I'm actually just wearing a belly for a demonstration. I have had three positive births and I will continue to put out new pregnancy workouts every week. If you like videos like these, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Let's start standing up. We can bring our feet wide apart. Big breath in, exhale, out. Inhale. Last one. Let's take one foot behind, nice side stretch. Switching to the other side. Exhale, coming up. Let's bring our hands up. Exhale, pull your baby in. We'll bring our elbows reaching together behind us. Inhale, up. Using your back muscles. One more. Good. Hands out to the side. We can reach for your knee or your ankle, whatever feels safe for you. Last one here. We're gonna move into some hamstring curls. Good. I'm going to set the timer now for 40 seconds of a move with 20 seconds to walk or dance between. You can use this as a break or you can up your cardio by going a little bit faster. We'll exhale, pull in your baby on the hard part of every move. We're going to squat down, exhale, pull your baby in as you lift your knee. Stepping back with a straight leg, swinging your arms up, and then stepping forward. Walk it out. Stepping back with the other leg. 
Shoulders stay nice and low. Hugging your baby in tight. Shooting your hips back, chest stays high. Getting ready, we're in a lunge and then turn. Exhale, elbow to knee.
Nice work. Pop your right heel up. We'll come down, pulsing here. Amazing, shake it out. <laughs> Setting up for the other side. If at any point you need to come up, take a break, feel free. Squeezing your legs, squeezing your glute. Pulling your baby in. We're almost there. We're gonna take a water break after, a little bit lower. Amazing. Let's bring our arms up. Deep breath, down. Let's grab a sip of water.
Let's come to all fours here. If your wrists are bothering you, you can either come down on your elbows or fold up your mat to place under your wrists to get less of an angle there. Let's hug your baby in, engaging your core. We'll move into bird dog, lifting opposite arm and leg, switching sides. strong through your back and core, preventing swaying down through your lower back. release. Let's bring your arm farthest away from the screen down on your elbow. We can open our hips up to the front. We're going to lift and lower down again, holding in your baby tight to your spine. Let's lift and hold here. We'll pulse here while we're up. Beautiful release down. We can move to the other side, opening up your hips. Now to the back, we'll lift 10 times. On your next one, lift, hold that leg up, pulsing here. Good, releasing down. We can move in to some hip circles here, stretching out through your glutes if your hip circles are large. Let's go both ways. Coming back up to all fours, let's move into internal rotation, moving our ankles out, and then we're gonna rock back and forth slightly, just as far as it feels good. Great preparation for the pushing phase of birth. We can bring our ankles back in, tuck our toes. We're gonna move into our bear hover. We're gonna exhale. Pull your baby in, core nice and strong as we lift and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Release down, big inhale in. Exhale, re-engaging your core. Five, four, three, two, one. Release down, you can also add a pelvic floor contraction here. Inhale, lifting up, hold. Five, four, three, two, one, release down. We'll do one more. Five, four, three, two, one, release down. Good. Let's stretch out through the backs of our legs and our calf extending. Heel reaches down towards the ground. Switching to the other side. Breathe. 
Bringing your leg back in. Let's keep our hips high in the air, walking our hands forward for puppy pose. This is great to get your baby into the optimal fetal position. When you're ready, walking your hands back in, we'll come all the way up onto our knees, bringing one foot forward for a kneeling lunge. Let's rock back and forth here. You can also turn out your front foot if that feels good. Release, take a breath. Take your same arm as leg that is behind you. Reach up and over, nice side stretch. Exhale, coming up, switching to the other side. Rocking here. Kneeling lunges are great asymmetrical poses during your labor as well. Helping baby move and navigate through your pelvis. Releasing here, slight tuck of your pelvis and tailbone, reaching up and over. Good, exhale, coming up, shifting back. We can bring that leg in. Let's move to a seated position for pure form of stretch. You can also do the sitting on a chair. Finding length in your spine, crossing one ankle over. Knee reaches away from your body. Relaxing through your hips and your pelvic floor. Gently release, other side. releasing out. So two options here. We can either come to butterfly pose or if it feels good for you, you can come to a yogi squat. Opening up through our hips. If your heels are coming off in yogi squat, you can always place toilet paper rolls under your heels or just let your heels come off. If you're in butterfly, hinging forward. Good, coming up. Let's open up to one side. Nice side stretch. Exhale, engage your obliques, pull your baby in to come up. Switching to the other side.
Exhale, coming up. You did amazing. I hope that your body's feeling great and that you're feeling prepared for your upcoming birth. I would love to know how many weeks pregnant you are. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna to link to my birth preparation playlist right there. And thank you so much for joining me today.